As you guys know, I haven't done this uh, series in quite a long time. I used to do it a lot with the PS3. At the time, the PS3 was already older than the PS4 and was getting a good amount of games when PlayStation Plus first started. Um, it took a while for the PS4 to start getting good games. This is one of them. This is uh, Lords of the Fallen. <clears throat> the game right now, the vibe is giving me, it's Lord of the Rings, Shadow of Mordor, mixed with Bloodborne, uh, and a tad bit of Gears of War, would I say, because of the bulkiness of the character, only due to some of the armor, but it's a very good game. So if you like Bloodborne, if you like um, Lord of the Rings, uh, Shadow of Mordor, which is heavy action, you're going to like this. Now, the game has heavy uh, customization. Hold on. You will push the touchpad to do that. Okay, so it has heavy customization. You can mix and match all type of armor you want. Uh, the game does, you know, it, 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 it has a lot to do with weight, defense, all of that stuff. And then when you level up, it's a lot like Bloodborne and Dark Souls and Demon Souls. Um, where you want to make sure you get that en endurance up. You want to make sure you get your uh, dexterity up. You want to get all that stuff up. So, let's just see. Um, the best armor that I think that I have is right here. But it, I basically won't be able to move but so much. So, you want to make sure you can move. Um, let's see. I want to make sure I can move a lot. Both of these are eight, huh? Okay, both of these are eight. That's nice to know. Okay, uh, let's see. Anything that's good but not heavy as fuck. This firebrand armor I got is very, very good. That's gonna... Hmm, it's 21. Okay, I think we're actually pretty good. We keep it here. Um, now I have this short axe, little um hatchet axe, but of course, why did I keep pushing start? You have other weapons too. I have like a two-handed marauder, a uh, great axe. I have uh, a monk staff, which actually was working good for me until I found out this axe is a little bit better because of the weight. As well as uh, it does more damage. I was working with the sword. But once again when I get the monk's staff. Then I found out that was a heavier uh, attack. And then you know it went up the ladder. Um, we will see what we can do with this. You can change the stances. You can change different things you have. This is some sort of a, like a gunner gauntlet thingy. So, so okay let me see. This is like, um, what is that other, it's, it's, it's like Bloodborne mixed with Shadow of Mordor mixed with Darksiders, yeah. It's, so it's all three of those games mixed in. So if you liked any of one of those, just think of a game mixed with all of that. Uh, now you don't get to cu customize your cre uh, character from scratch as far as underneath the armor. Uh, the guy is always going to be a guy, he's always, you know, going to be what he looks like. Um, but I do like, you know, like I said, you get to customize the armor and all of that other stuff. Um, you have different stances. You can use your shield, you know, this little gun thing, arm gauntlet that I got that I haven't really messed around with. Uh, using your weapon running, all of that does stamina. Like I said, pretty much like Bloodborne. Uh, so you want to keep a lookout for that. That was two strikes. I got a rune of some sort. That guy's going to be difficult. He's going to fuck me up. Is he coming over here? Is he coming over here? Yes, he is. He is coming over here. Okay. Two strikes. Two strikes. Two strikes. Oh, yeah. That guy normally takes like four, four or more. Two strikes for that guy. One strike with a big swing. We got a hunter. We got a hunter type character up there. He's so fast though. I'm scared to go at him. I might go over here. Um, 
Now, of course, this video is posted before I even make the discussion video about the PS4 Pro, but I've already pre-ordered it on Amazon. Um, this video is going to be posted up. Two strikes again. Big heavy guy. I've been leveling up though. I mean like so I want to I want to show you um the level up system um also about this game. Um like I said it's pretty much like Bloodborne. There's big big maps to go inside a uh, go fuse inside of other parts of this um so it's, it seems almost seamless sometimes. Um let's see. So this is how you would level up character development. Like I said, pretty much the same thing. The only thing that's different, uh, I don't know much about Faith, but uh, from on this game, because I didn't see Faith on Bloodborne and Demon Souls when I was playing it, on this game it has a lot to do with magic. So if you want to do a lot of magic stuff, do Faith. Me, I'm not worrying about magic right now, just like on Bloodborne. Demon Souls, however, I really messed around with a lot of magic because the magic was good on Demon Souls. Uh, but right now, I've been doing a lot of uh, uh, vitality. Of course, you can see endurance. I was leveling that up a good amount. Um, and uh, strength, I really haven't messed around with strength. I did vitality and endurance. Strength was already at 11. But if I uh, once I level endurance up a little bit more, one more level to 14, then I'm going to go back to strength. And then I'm going to start fucking shit up. Uh, so. So endurance is going to help you. Uh, have better speed. When you have heavy equipment. This stuff does weight. Uh, it's, weight is a factor in this game. So. You know. You will push R2. To add up the experience points for. Uh, your attribute points for this. And then. L2 for your spell points. So the experience. You can divide it into two. Or you can just say, fuck it, I want to do the attributes. Uh, so I've only leveled up my um, magic one time. But it takes a lot more experience points to level up your magic than your attributes. That's why I'm not messing around with magic right now. Because uh, it'll take me multiple runs. So unlike Neo, which I just got confirmation that is a PS4 exclusive. It's not going to any other platform. Unlike Neo, um, this... This game will not restart the characters unless you die. So if you level up after you fought the characters, you'll be alright. He's fast. He's so fast. He, yeah, he, he almost fucked me up, dude. I'm not gonna lie. He almost fucked me up. And I gave the... It was a story, and I got a trophy. But I'm just a nice guy, so... This guy, something happened. I don't know. Spider bit him, and then the venom was going through. I don't care about that ghost. I died. Uh, okay, so this is how you capture your souls back on this game. They call it ghost. You die, your ghost is there. You have a certain amount of time to go back to your ghost to retrieve your experience. So unlike Bloodborne, you can go and get it any time. Just don't die because if you die then that shit's restarted in your, your new your new spot where you died. That's the experience that you have to get. On this game, um, what you have to do is first, don't die trying to go get your ghost. And second, get your ghost in time because there is a time limit to go back to where you died at to capture your uh, experience points uh, so yeah that's how it is here so uh, looks like we're good there we got a marauder up there we got a lord these lord zombie people it's a good game it's a free once again you already know this series is free for PlayStation Plus I haven't did this series in a while cuz I'm not going to lie, we haven't been getting the best games, uh, but I've been playing a lot of other games, as you guys know, too, because I have a fucking job, and I don't rely, um, I don't rely on PlayStation Plus to get all my games and stuff. I'm getting a lot of these runes. They, uh, one of the runes helped me open up a treasure chest, so I was kind of happy about that. 
That Marauder is supposed to be around here somewhere. Not today. Not today. Didn't even let him get a hit on me that time. I like the axe that I got from that fucker. Because as you can see, it's sluggish. You know, because it's a heavy axe. But if you put your endurance up, you know, you can start swinging this around a good way. And that spin attack is going to be great. Now, uh, from what I understand right now of the game, I don't know if there's any wear and tear on the weapons. From what I saw, I didn't see anything, but we can go check again together. Uh, damage, power, energy. Yeah, so the, I would say the one trade-off from this game is there don't seem to be any wear and tear on this game. Uh, they have a requirement level to use certain weapons. Uh, and Certain weapons, yeah, but not armor. But uh, there's a requirement level for the weapons, but they don't, like, get damage from what I see. It shows you how much damage it does, but uh, the the weapons don't get damaged. So, um, it's it's good. Like I said, it's Darksiders mixed with uh, Lord of the Rings, Shadow of Mordor, and also mixed with Bloodborne uh, slash Demon Souls. It's a very good game, uh, free for PlayStation Plus. It has, um, I've already got like six or seven uh, normal bronze trophies off of this game. So it does have trophies. It does have a platinum. The game has been fixed from what people might think of the game. Uh, when it was first released, it was a mess from what I heard from a lot of people. But now, uh, not so much at all. I've had no uh, issues with the game at all. So, well, that's not good. There's a guy up there, just letting you guys know. It looks like I can run as much as I want to, by the way. Um, running, yeah, running is not beating down the stamina bar. So it seems like you can run as much as you want. And then, once again, here is another uh, little place where you can invest your uh, souls here. So I leveled that up. And I got one. So use the experience points to level up to get one or more attribute points. Then you use the attribute points to level up something. So I just leveled up my endurance to level 14. 